as the starships of humanity traveled first across the solar system and then to distant stars, they carried with them the failings of human civilization. Civil strife, religious fanaticism, and overpopulation all became staples of the new interstellar age. Gravity manipulation and shock drive technology promised to provide relief to an increasingly overpopulated Earth, but instead only perpetuated an inexhaustible drive for raw resources. Bolstered by expensive subsidies from EarthGov, the mining industry came to dominate every aspect of interplanetary commerce. The USG Ishimura was the culmination of this prevailing doctrine, a starship designed to provide uninhibited resource exploitation. Stretching over a mile long from prow to stern, it was the largest vessel ever constructed and quickly followed by others in the so-called Planet Cracker class. At the time of its introduction into service within the fleet of the Concordance Extraction Corporation in 2446, it was a truly historic vessel. The scope of its operations were unprecedented, marking a turning point in humanity's exploration and exploitation of space. Despite the revolutionary technologies and designs it incorporated, the Ishimura was first and foremost a mining ship, working to locate and exploit valuable resources in deep space. Its target objects ranged from asteroids, moons, and even entire planets. Using its powerful gravity tethers, the USG Ishimura was able to exert massive pressure onto a planetoid and literally crack apart its crust. The resulting debris would be scanned for heavy metals, mineral deposits, and other valuable ores to then be pulled into the ship itself for wholesale smelting. A battery of mass drivers allowed for the active interception of potentially dangerous space debris during this procedure, making the USG Ishimura both an incredibly effective and reliably safe platform for macro-scale astro mining. Once a target was cracked and its materials recovered, these would be shipped back for industrial use on Earth and other colony worlds. The vessel's superstructure was dominated by its engineering, mining, and ore storage decks, principally located on the bottom of the ship's hull and within twin cargo towers positioned towards the stern. Alongside these were extensive habitation and hydroponics decks, as well as a large flight bay and maintenance substructures. The bridge was located at the vessel's prow and featured an atrium in which the command crew operated and a private observation area known as the Captain's Nest. The Ishimura also featured a dedicated hospital wing, which, aside from serving conventional needs, acted as a laboratory that could study alien toxins and virology. This allowed the Ishimura to maximize its usefulness as a pioneer vessel at the edge of known space, studying and recording alien ecosystems even while splitting them apart for their raw materials. With a crew of approximately 1,300 souls, the USG Ishimura carried relatively few human personnel for its operations. Yet those aboard enjoyed extensive habitation decks featuring exercise areas, lounges, and other amenities. These provided a comfortable living space both for the ship's crew and its mining teams, but also their families. Roughly 200 of those aboard were not involved with the running of the ship in any capacity, but instead onboard dependents and relations. Their inclusion allowed the Ishimura to operate longer from port than it otherwise might have been able, without damaging the ship's morale. Vast hydroponics bays ensured that the crew always had extensive stores of food on hand, further extending the Ishimura's deep space operations. Its ability to operate within deep space and its cutting-edge shock drive meant the USG Ishimura also served as a de facto exploration ship. Its scanning runs would take it deep into areas only briefly passed over by previous exploration missions, placing it at the forefront of both stellar cartography and practical astrophysics. Over its 63 years of service, the USG Ishimura made several notable discoveries in these fields and was routinely marketed as a shining jewel within the CEC fleet. By 2508, however, after 62 years in service, the Ishimura was scheduled to be decommissioned after its record-breaking 35th planet crack. It was during the cracking of Aegis 7, the Ishimura's final target, that the ship's legacy would take a darker turn. During the process, an alien artifact was uncovered, designated the A3 Red Marker a device with extreme religious significance to the influential Church of Unitology, of whom the Ishimura's captain was a member, 
It was extracted from the planet with the intention of transporting it back to Earth. The marker's recovery prompted the outbreak of a recombinant extraterrestrial infection that had been present on Aegis Seven. Spread throughout the ventilation system, the infection took hold of the ship, each deck descending into chaos as its crew was converted into extremely aggressive, mutated life forms. The bridge held out the longest, sending out a distress signal before it too was overrun, prompting the arrival of the USG Kellyan rescue vessel. After this rescue failed, EarthGov and the CEC would fabricate the story that the vessel was destroyed by a terrorist attack. Left adrift in the wake of the incident, the derelict ship was inadvertently picked up by a group of scavengers, who would too succumb to the infection and turn upon each other. As EarthGov forces arrived to shut down the illegal operation and reclaim the ship, the infestation again reconstituted itself, striking out and killing numerous personnel before being contained. The Ishimura would then be relocated to the vast industrial and prison complex known as the Sprawl, located on the remains of Saturn's moon of Titan, as part of a cleanup operation intended to hide its original fate. Instead, the infection again ran rampant across the ship and the surrounding facilities before both were seemingly destroyed in an explosion that sent the final remnants of the Ishimura plunging into Saturn's atmosphere. The USG Ishimura was a vessel intended to mark a turning point in human history. It achieved this in more ways than could have ever been imagined. For all its power, the Ishimura was a pale reflection of those that awaited in the dark. And they are coming. They are hungry. They are here. Welcome, CEC employee, to the USG Ishimura. The Ishimura was the first Planet Cracker class vessel and is now the oldest serving with 62 years of continuous service. It holds the record for highest number of planet cracks with 34 to date and highest dead weight of refined product at 14 trillion kilotons and counting. Whether you'll be joining us aboard the Ishimura or strengthening the extraction workforce on the colony, the captain and crew would like to welcome you and we hope your stay is a pleasant one. Concordance Extraction Company, powering humanity into the future.